Hello folks, this is uh, October, November 2020, paper number 43 and the question number is 8. And this question is concerned with uh, the chapter uh, magnetic field. So it is. it says that a slice of a conducting material has its face QRLK. So QRLK is QRLK, uh, normal to a uniform magnetic field of flux density B. So this is a magnetic field here, normal here. That means that this angle, so this the angle between this line on this surface and uh, these uh, lines should be 90 degrees, normal. Electrons enter the slice traveling perpendicular to face PQKZ. So PQKZ, electrons uh, are incident normally to this surface. So if I draw a line like this, so these things are perpendicular to these lines. For the free electrons moving in the slice, moving in the slice like this, state the direction of the force on an electron due to movement of the electron in the magnetic field. So the electrons are entering like this, magnetic field is like this. So we have to find the uh, direction of force on those electrons. Direction of force on those electrons. So for that, let us follow this uh, left hand rule of Fleming. So had these things been positive charges, had these things been positive charges, the direction of force would have been given by the Lorentz force. Uh, the, sorry, by, by the uh, Fleming's left hand rule. So it, this rule says that if uh, this is the magnetic field, magnetic field, which is to the left here, magnetic field here. So let me place the fingers like this. This is the magnetic field. And if the positive charge are going like this, in that direction, like this, the for force would have been like this. So magnetic field here in this direction, just like this. Positive charge is going like this to that direction, then the force would have been like this. So that means the positive charges would go in the upward direction. Positive charges would go in upward direction. But here, what you have is, it is the uh, it is the it is the, the electrons that are moving like this. So if it's the electrons, then this direction should be opposite. So if positive charges, they go up. But if negative charges, they go down. So the electrons will be moving. Electrons should be moving to the face, to the face, uh, it will be downward, let us say, downward, downward, that is, they will move to the face, to the face, face uh, uh, J, M, L, K, so you can say like this, to the face J, M, L, K. Identify the faces using the letters on figure 8.1, between which a uh, potential difference is developed. So, what you have is, the electrons uh, are going to the lower face that means uh, uh, the upper face will be positively charged the lower face becomes negative and since it is whole neutral the upper face should be positive so that's why the pd should develop between the lower is jmlk lk and the upper is it is a pqrs pqrs so pd is developed between the faces pqrs and jmlk now Explain why the potential difference in A reaches a maximum value. So we have to state why the PD reaches a maximum value. So it reaches maximum value because it's maximum value because because uh, as uh, we have more and more electrons uh, traveling here, traveling here, so more and more electrons will deposit downward and more and more positive. So they develop some sort of electric force, some sort of electric force. So they develop certain Fe. Fe uh, across, Fe across the faces PQRS and JMLK, which is attractive, which is attractive. So as uh, uh, the charges develop, this force becomes greater and greater, and it will continue till, continue till it becomes equal to the Lorentz force, the Lorentz force which causes positive to go go up and it to go down. So until it becomes equal to this this continues and after they become equal no further charges can separate after they become equal no further charges can separate so that's why so the pd because of that force should also be reaching a certain maximum value so since this force reaches maximum value which is equal to this the pd also should reach a maximum value because it is uh, the pd is equal to sorry uh, force is equal to qv by d so if it is maximum it also should be maximum. Now, the next question. The next question says, the number of free electrons per unit volume in the slice of a material is 
1.3 into something something so it is uh, n here n the thickness pq of the slide is uh, this this is t and uh, the magnetic flux density is uh, b like this and the pd uh, calculate the pd across the slice for a current of uh, this thing so this is i and the voltage that we have to find the pd that we have to find is simply whole voltage so this is all voltage is equal to b i by n q t so it should be equal to b is equal to 4.6 into 10 to the power minus 3 into i is equal to 6.3 into 10 to the power minus 4 whole divided n is the number of electrons it is 1.3 into 10 to the power 29 into Q is charge, charge of the electrons, so it is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 into the thickness is 0 0.1 millimeter, 0 0.10 into 10 to the power minus 3 meters. So now this will become, so uh, bracket 4.6 exponent minus 3 into 6, 3 exponent minus 4, very close, divided bracket 1.3 exponent 29 into 1.6 exponent minus minus 19 into 0.1 exponent minus 3 okay. so it becomes equal to equal to 1.4 into 10 to the power 1 2 3 4 5 7 8 9 10 to the power minus 12 volts this value is equal to 1.4 into 10 to the power minus 12 volts now the slice in c is a metal so the slice being used here is a metal by reference to your answer in c is to c suggest why hall probes are usually made using semiconductors rather than metals so in c what i, I can say is the value of a vs is inversely proportional to this n and since this n is very large vs is very less so for metals for metals for metals metals uh, n is less n is sorry more n is more and uh, this hall voltage is very less but in case of semiconductors but in case of semiconductors conductors n is very less and this makes vh large this makes vh large so such large voltages are easily detectable and used for some other testing purposes so that's why these probes use semiconductor uh, slices rather than uh, the metal slices